Hey guys, what is up? So I've been having a look at Ethereum recently, and mainly the the uh, EIP, what I think it's called, the, the uh, 1559 proposal, which was to deal with the gas fees, because they are insane, <laughs> especially at the moment. And the whole purpose, as it states, is a Blitz transaction has had to fix issues with user experience because gas fees are incredibly high when it comes to transactions and a lot of the transaction fees that you pay in gas fees go to miners. So the problem, which is, yeah, there's a good article here to read, but basically it's to establish the market rate and burn the majority of ETH in transaction fees instead of going to all the miners, which means with this coming out, there's a high chance that the amount you earn from mining is going to dramatically drop. Because if I can find the bit I was looking at a minute ago, uh, yes. So if Ethereum is greater than 50% utilized, the, yeah, the comma was called then, but it's increased, less it's decreased. Because as it was not that long ago, about 50%, of the transaction fees, no, transaction fees made up 50% of the earnings for Ethereum over the past year, which is pretty insane amount of money. But it's coming to the point now where it's gonna change so dramatically with this new thing, which has been, my I add, greenlit for July. So only a couple months away, and it can mean that Ethereum might not be the number two slot anymore because a lot's moving to staking, which is having its issues because if you stake incorrectly, you will lose your Ethereum, or there's a very high chance you could lose your Ethereum, meaning you have to be really, really confident on what you're doing because if you mess that up, that is all your money gone and you could lose thousands, hundreds of thousands maybe, if you do it incorrectly. Also, with the fact that if this goes ahead properly, yes, it will st stop the transaction fees being massive and insane for the most part. It could also, or well, also, if it goes in that sense, it's really dramatically cuts the amount of earnings people are going to make from mining. And with Ethereum being the number one thing to mine, other than Bitcoin, really, it's going to really put a dampener on asics for a start because those asics that are making hundreds a day are suddenly gonna be maybe cut in half in the amount of money they make meaning they will be more or less worthless because of electric costs because as electricity is going up in price and then different around the world if the mines aren't going to be able to make the money for it people aren't going to use them anymore so it's going to be a very interesting event coming that day and also see if people are going to move to other currencies because if people move to other cover cover currencies and decide, well, because Ethereum isn't now the most profitable one to use, what else could we use? Could we go to Ethereum Classic, which is different, or could we go to Green or Ravencoin? You know, just other ones that might make you a considerable amount more money because Ethereum, you're not making your insane amount of money because the transaction fees aren't all there. Which, yes, it's going to be a mass dampener. But, you know, it's going to, they cause it say it's going to be the way forward with Ethereum. And since Ethereum has changed a lot over the past, even just year, you got the staking, there's the mining's gone crazy, there's all the new proposals that are coming out, there's a few more than just this one. Uh, they're obviously adding in the burn rate. You've got the the DeFi side of things, and like Ethereum itself has changed so much to the point where it's this massive thing, and now it's dropping down dramatically. So it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes to. Maybe not mining as such, and maybe just holding Ethereum might be the good idea. Like if you can get your stake and set up, it might become the way forward that staking. It's going to be the only way for it because if you can't 
theoretically mine to a profitable standard but so you can just use any electric costs really you need the you need a computer running but it's only one computer you need or one server you won't need all your miners so maybe the profitable way forward now would be to mine with your miners as long as they're still making profit and instead of transferring all that ethereum into bitcoin or into your dollars or gbp or whatever currency you use and taking it out transfer that all into staking stake the ethereum take out the staking rewards and then sell that instead and then just keep increasing your stake which means the staking rewards will keep increasing and then gradually over time you will start making only profit and never make a loss which could work if ethereum staking goes to the walls the right direction and is a proper significant feature but that would depend on how this new system put in place in july is actually going to affect ethereum staking so ethereum staking is also affected by it that could make a massive impact on how things work since if it also cuts ethereum staking's value down or makes it really really hard to stake then people probably will start moving away from ethereum in general since it's going to be not untrustworthy but it's going to be more of a risk because it's going to be do i make money straight out the, straight out of the back and worry about transaction fees and everything else or do i hold i keep being bullish on it and see if it is going to in the long term make money like people were doing with bitcoin which eventually rocketed up to where it is now and made them millionaires but that is all going to be down to what comes up and where things go in the future and my thoughts on this really are just i'm gonna watch because i only mine ethereum personally so i'm very focused on this since it's going to dramatically change how much i earn because i don't stake ethereum because i don't trust the ethereum staking setup process very well currently i stick other things so i'm going to watch this because it will very much affect my, my money since i use my ethereum i earn to stake my other currencies i don't put my own money in i mine transfer it into other currencies and then might take that so that means i'm not really ever at a loss i'm always above my electric rate but i'm gonna wait and watch and hope it doesn't screw everyone over too well but that is just my basic opinion on what is going on and which is what i've read so far I need to, i'm gonna read more into it and try and read more about the actual staking side of things and see if it does change things but for now it's kind of just a wait watch and hope situation that it doesn't completely screw over the gas fees but, yeah so i'm gonna leave it for now thank you for watching and i'll uh, see you next time